In the competitive world of entertainment, a single misstep can be costly, just ask Li Yifeng. Born in Chengdu in 1987, Li gained fame through the talent show My Hero in 2007. Despite finishing eighth, he became a popular singer, releasing an EP and an album. His breakthrough came with the drama Sunny Happiness, earning him Best New Actor at the 2011 China TV Drama Awards. In 2014, his role in Swords of Legends solidified him as China's little fresh meat. Known for his wholesome image, Li attracted major brand endorsements and ranked ninth on Forbes' China Celebrity List in 2015. However his empire came to a standstill on September 11, 2022 after he got arrested. The actor was detained under criminal charges of soliciting prostitution and he confessed to the crime, according to the report posted on the Sina Weibo account of Beijing Municipal Public Security Bureau. In the course of the investigation, the Beijing police have apprehended an actor with surname Li and he has confessed to soliciting prostitution on multiple occasions. He is now placed under administrative detention in accordance with the law, said the report. Eagle-eyed netizens scrutinized the arrest notice and felt like something was amiss. The notice on his prostitution was different from all other releases for contraventions of similar nature, with an absence of date, time, venue and counterparty that is the prostitute's information. His Weibo account was suspended from use shortly before the TV station's release, barring him his right to defend or explain himself, subsequently his social media accounts across all platforms were removed a few days later. Notwithstanding that prostitution in China is not a crime but an administrative contravention similar to traffic contraventions with a maximum penalty of 5,000 renminbi and or detention for up to 15 days. In light of the highly unusual manner in which the matter unfolded and high-handed approach and respectively, some speculated if the prostitution determination against Li was used as a tool to distract from the social ills at the time, including issues arising from, for example, overzealous zero-COVID measures and corresponding mounting social discontent. Despite being sentenced to 15 days of administrative detention and paying the maximum fine, the repercussions on his career were substantial. Reports suggested that Li Yifeng engaged in this behavior multiple times, leading to his tarnished public image. The news immediately ranked among the top of trending topics on Sino Weibo. Following the incident, at least 13 brands including Zangwoli under Mingyo, Prada, Luckfook Jewelry, Payne Rai, Sensodyne and Remy Martin terminated their partnership with Li. By Sunday evening, people could not find any search results about Li in Budweiser and L'Oreal accounts on Weibo, which was previously endorsed by Li. Li, who had more than 60 million followers on Weibo, was on a previously announced list of celebrities expected to attend the Mid-Autumn Festival Gala on CCTV, but his name was later deleted from the program. Many netizens noticed that the official Weibo account of China's Supreme People's Procuratorate has also deleted all information related to Li on Saturday. Li once served as the promotional ambassador for the activities of the Supreme People's Procuratorate, participating in the shooting of music videos, among other publicity work. Before news of his arrest became public, Li's studio issued a statement, emphasizing that Li has always abided by professional ethics and behaved within the limits of morality, adding that the comments about Li Yifeng's personal life on the internet are untrue and have been maliciously fabricated to spread rumors by people with ulterior motives. The statement also requested major online platforms to block or delete the infringing content, but the statement did not give a reason for Li's removal from CCTV's Mid-Autumn Festival Gala and the Supreme People's Procuratorate. Shortly after the studio's statement, Li himself also published a long post on Weibo, emphasizing that the rumors not only caused emotional damage to himself, but also affected all his ongoing businesses. Li wrote, I hope Li Yifeng will live on in his film and television work, will live responsibly and will also live in the social responsibility of today's youth, instead of living among lawsuits and fighting against malicious rumors. However, Li's above-mentioned post and his studio statement were soon deleted, and related search terms such as Li Yifeng's statement and Li Yifeng's long post also disappeared. The arrest makes Li and the team's previous announcements ridiculous, said a comment posted after the news report on Sunday. Behave morally and do not cross the line of the law, these are basic life principles for a human being. As a public figure, Li should have known better, but even after arrest, Li did not seriously reflect upon his own faults, and instead he hoped to erase traces of illegal activities in a variety of ways. Not repenting after making a mistake is more unforgivable than simply making a mistake, the comment said.
Further, China Daily reported that the organizing committee of the Huading Awards said it has rescinded the actor's titles of Best Actor in China's Top 100 TV Dramas and the national audience's favorite movie star. Following his arrest, numerous articles online detail alleged activities of Li Yifeng, especially in his hometown of Chengdu. One article suggests he frequents a local establishment serving as both a brothel and a clubhouse, where patrons, including Li, believe they are helping the women by spending money on them. Reports claim Li spent 200,000 yuan on two visits and expressed a preference for Sister Yu, described as a single mother. Supposedly, he remarked, most of the women I like have children anyway. It's rumored that Li was arrested after a woman was intercepted on her way home. Another circulating rumor suggests Li often wears sunglasses during such encounters to maintain secrecy, even during undressing or intimate activities. Unsubstantiated online claims include spending 6,000 Chinese yuan a night with a 14-year-old girl and soliciting call girls while watching explicit content in Haikou. However, the icing on the cake was a former staff member who had worked with Yi Feng in June 2021 when he was filming Daybreaker. She shared a photo of him browsing porn in his hotel room, apparently uncaring of who else was in the room with him. All these unverified rumors and the fact that this was allegedly his third arrest with the same offense made his situation worse. He had to sell his mansion in a luxurious part of Beijing. The mansion has a market value of over 24 million renminbi. Chinese media claim Yifeng is selling the mansion to compensate the brands he endorsed. The artist is allegedly expected to reimburse his endorsement fees. Additionally, Yifeng has to pay an additional 30% for breaching a clause in his contract regarding his behavior. The artist and his studio are also being sued by the Shanghai Joy of Culture Communication Company over related service contract disputes. He also downsized his team, retaining only his longtime agent. Since his ban, Li Yifeng has maintained a low profile, avoiding public appearances for nearly a year. Speculations arose about intentional hiding or possible residence abroad, but in reality, Li Yifeng has resumed his normal life, residing quietly in Beijing, away from the public eye. On August 25, 2023, a blogger shared a video capturing Li Yifeng playing basketball on a court in Chengdu, Sichuan, signaling a return to his hometown. The footage revealed him enjoying the company of friends, demonstrating that they have not distanced themselves due to his past troubles. Observant netizens noted a visible weight loss. Despite dark eye bags, sallow skin, and weight loss, he expressed gratitude to the large group of fans who greeted him. Li Yifeng's return to his hometown garnered attention, with fans recognizing him at the Beijing airport. Despite a possible sense of remorse reflected in a bow to fans, his visit to Qingqing Mountain in Dujianjian City showcased a more positive and cheerful side. Interacting with fans and removing his mask for a personal touch, he seems determined to move forward in his career. While some fans support his comeback, a faction wishes to see him ousted from the industry. Regardless of public sentiment, Yifeng's agent is actively exploring opportunities with foreign agencies. Allegedly, an overseas company has contacted them, expressing a commitment to help Yifeng establish a career abroad. Despite challenges, including ongoing legal issues, he retains loyal fan bases in Thailand and Indonesia, attracting interest from foreign management agencies. As he navigates potential comebacks, there's hope that he'll approach his image with greater care. What do you think about his case? Is he guilty or not? Let me know down in the comments.